Hi everyone and welcome back. It is the 1st of December today and I haven't been here in quite a while so I'd like to apologise for that to start off with. A few of you have noticed, um, I did vlog I did Vlogtober and I loved it. I uploaded a video every day, I was in the moment, loving every second of it. And then um, when Vlogtober finished, that week after, the first week of November, I got really, really poorly. Um, I think it was gastric sleeve related. The doctor has referred me to have an ultrasound scan just to check that everything's okay. And I just got really, really poorly. And that week I was spent a lot of time in bed. I was on my own and I got really, really down. And I just didn't want to go on social media. I didn't want to look at anything on the internet. Um, I didn't want to sit and film. I didn't want to write a blog post. I didn't want to do anything. And um, the weeks, the days went on, it turned into weeks. And here I am on the 1st of December filming a video. So um, I am doing Vlogmas this year. I'm very excited. I am in much brighter spirits and I'm ready to get back into it basically. The day hasn't quite gone to plan. It's the 1st of December. You're watching this video probably about an hour after I filmed it. It's currently about half past six in the evening on Friday and um, I was meant to be filming this video this morning as well as another one. I did get my other one filmed and then the day just kind of went, took a weird turn. We had our Christmas tree delivered and then my mum came round and I said to her, do you fancy going to the shop? So we just went to Wilkinson's and, or to Wilco's, I think it's now rebranded itself and um, bought all the Christmas things. I bought some more of my mince pies, air wick, um, air fresheners, which are incredible. If you need new air fresheners for the plug-in ones, try them, they smell incredible. Um, and I just, I bought like um, Christmas kitchen roll, some gift wrap, some Christmas chocolates, everything like Christmassy. Then I wanted to nip to Morrison's to get my grandparents um, some mince pies and it ended up turning into a bit of a festive shop. We went to Marks and Spencer's, we bought, um, Christmas cakes, mince pies, brandy cream, um, mince meat, pastry, everything Christmassy and I've just been around and taken a load of stuff to my nan and granddad's house. So here I am at half past six in the evening so I do apologise, it's still going to go up on the 1st of December but um, I've not really, I mean my makeup I've had it on all day and um, I'm all dishevelled um, but hopefully it will be okay all the same and it has been a very very festive 1st of December for me. So today, before I start the video, I need to announce the giveaway winner. My last video, or a couple of videos ago, I had a giveaway running and it's been ages since it ended. Um, so the winner is Amanda Poole. So if you, Amanda, can message me um, on Facebook or if you email me, I will leave all my contact details down below so you can email me your address. Um, thank you to everyone who entered. Um, congratulations, Amanda, and I will get everything sent out in the post so it gets to you before Christmas. So that's everything done and dusted. I've updated you, I've apologised, I've announced the giveaway winner. Now we can get into the video. So I thought I'd kick off Vlogmas this year by starting with a Christmas wrap and decoration haul. So I'm gonna show you all the wrapping paper that I've bought, the ribbon, uh, little bits and pieces, and also a few decorations that we've bought this year as well. There is quite a lot to go through. This might be a, quite a hefty video. I'm gonna start with the newest thing that I've just bought from Morrison. This, to be honest, is probably the most festive thing that I've got to show you because it is a real Christmas tree. So these were just at the door as I walked in from Morrison's. I bought this this afternoon. Um, it comes in a white bucket and it's got little white snowflakes around it. And they also did this in copper. Um, and I just, I love the little handle. And then it's just a little tree. It's got little bits of silver glitter on, which I thought was very, very adorable. So I'm gonna put this at the front door. So when you walk in, the first thing you see is a Christmas tree. And this was only seven pounds. Um, it's real, I'm gonna to have to keep it well watered, but I loved it, I couldn't resist it. Next I have a candle from um, Home Sense, and this was 9.99. One of those that's a really big three wicker. And um, it's got little bits of autumn leaves and um, just, Christmassy goodness going around the bottom of it. And I just thought this would be really nice to, to burn um, around Christmas time. I'd had my own one from the White Company for a really long time, but theirs was about 25, 30 pounds. So I got this one, which is still quite expensive for a candle, but you get quite a lot of bang for your buck. I have a really mixed bag of stuff to show you. I've got some stuff from like Sainsbury's and Morrison's and um, Next, Marks and Spencer's. These baubles were from a brand um, called Sophie Ops. I think it's Sophie Allport 
and I bought a Christmas stocking from her which I can't show you because I've given it to Thomas to put all my stocking presents in but I will link it down below it's gorgeous um, I'll pop a little picture up here um, I managed to get 20% off it in the Black Friday sale which was perfect but I've bought these baubles which to be honest were quite expensive for Christmas baubles but you get a pack of three and the light's going to reflect on them but they have little stars on them which I really hope you can that you can pick up. I thought these were adorable. I'm obsessed with stars. I This year I've bought a few Christmas decorations and I'm just kind of going for a bit of a random tree. I've got some blue things, some red things, um, silver, gold. It's just going to be a bit of a free-for-all I think. So those are my baubles from Sophie Allport and um, I'm going to treasure them. They're like, they're like a classic decoration that I pull out every year and I'm never going to tire of. From next I bought a woolly penguin. That's his name. Wooly the Penguin. He was £14, which is a little bit ridiculous. I have to say, it's a little bit pricey. Look at him. I couldn't resist him. I love penguins. He's got little feet. I just thought he would look really cute. Just sat on the sideboard, minding his own business, spreading some Christmas cheer. So I bought this little guy. And again, I think this is something that I'll just get out year after year. You know when you go around to like your grandparents' house and they have the same Santa Claus that they've had from like day dot? he's going to be a part of the family, the Christmas family too, I think. Next, I have a couple of Christmas baubles that I bought today. They were £1.50 each and they were from Wilco's and they're very, very plain. They are just a clear glass with little white ribbon and then um, they have little glitter white stripes running through them. So I like that they're really simple and I actually can't really remember what Christmas de decorations we've got. So I don't know whether I needed more baubles, but I already have five more to hang on the tree and I've got more to show you too. So... So this next thing I bought from our one of our local garden centres where we actually got our tree from and it was 9 99 and it's just a little light up wire tree. So they had them in stars as well and it's by the brand, it's by the brand Luminio. So if I can find these online I will link them. Um, but I just really liked it. I love the simplicity of it. It just stands on a little kind of stone concrete block and it's battery powered with little fairy lights going all around it. Um, I'm really into kind of like the grey and white theme I think this year, that seems to what I'm gearing towards anyway. I can't wait to pop all these things downstairs in their rightful places um, and then it will really start feeling like Christmas. So a couple of bits from Sainsbury's, this little star I think was a couple of pounds and it's just a wooden star with little snowflakes on the front of it, just something again really simple, very cheap. Um, I just thought it would be a nice little addition to the tree. And then I also bought some more Christmas baubles. These were about four or five pounds. And there are 49 shatterproof baubles in this packet. And um, again, it's gonna reflect like crazy. So I'll just hold them like that. But we have some kind of like matte and shiny gold ones, some white ones. So I really liked the kind of different variation in here. And again, my tree this year, I think is just gonna be a mixed bag of colors. We have a garden center about an hour away from us in Warrington, which is called Bent's and we got a few decorations from there when we went a couple of weekends ago. A wooden star and um, it's gorgeous. It was 9 99 it's made of all these different bits of wood and it's got that sprayed kind of white effect to it, like it's been snowed on. Um, it's got some baubles on it, some stars. I love the greenery, little pine cones. Um, and some little bells. So I thought this was really, really cute. We have, Our wreath that we have on the front door is um, not that dissimilar to this. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, but I thought this is, would be really nice for in the house. And I also picked up this one, which is a little bit different. Again, not sticking to any kind of color theme. It's just got the kind of pinks and purples and a little bit of silver on a white bauble. I just thought it was very pretty and a little bit different. And then I'm not really sure what color this one is. It's kind of like a deep, very deep burgundy red color. Um, and then it's got these three little Christmas trees on the front in different glitters, which I really liked. I love the different colour combinations of this. This bauble was one of my favourites and it's navy blue, kind of like a silvery blue. It's got a little bit of silvery blue glitter on the bottom and then it's got little snowflakes and bits of snow on it in glitter. And then the picture on it, again, I really hope that this shows up. It's got a little squirrel sat in a tree I love this. Um, it's one of the my most favourite baubles that I've bought in a very long time. And I know it might sound really sad, but I love Christmas. I absolutely adore Christmas. And it's little things like this. Because I love Christmas and I love interiors and like decorating the home. It's like my favourite combination. So 
Um, yeah, I really, really like this one. I'm very happy that we got this. I'm gonna go through some gift bags. Now, Marks and Spencers have a range of wrapping paper. I've bought a roll of it um, that's gorgeous and the, I couldn't resist this gift bag. It was three pounds. It's quite expensive for a gift bag. I just thought it was so sweet. So it's kind of like a Christmassy winter wonderland scene with little bunnies running through the snow and leaving little footprints. And then here we've got little bears with a little Christmas party hat on and glittery trees and um, all the kind of like trees and the snowfall. And I just love this. I thought it was, it's just very, very beautiful. As beautiful as a gift bag can be. It's cardboard at the end of the day, isn't it, I suppose. And then from Dunnell Mill, which is the last place I would ever think of buying Christmas wrapping paper or gift bags from. But they were really, really reasonable. So I got a couple of these bags and these were a pound. Um, and they're just cream, again, with little kind of bronzy gold stars on. I'm really hoping that this is gonna pick up. These ones were a little bit bigger. These are £1.50 and these are navy blue with the star and, with stars and moons and shooting stars on, um, which again, I thought were really, really nice and something a little bit different. So, um, a bit of a range in prices there. The fact that this Dunelm bag is like double the size of that Marks and Spencer's bag, but half the price. Um, but I love them all equally. No, I like the Marks and Spencer's one a little bit more. A little bit more. Wrapping paper. Talking about Marks and Spencer's, I'll do that first. So I bought this for £4.50 and this is the wrapping paper that goes with the gift bag. Um, it's got little trees going along the bottom, little bits of snow glitter, the bunnies running through the snow. I love this. My mum's just actually bought some um, when we were just in Marks's earlier. From Next, I got one of their wrap multi-packs. This was £6.50 and you get four rolls of wrapping paper, um, four ribbons, some of the ribbon tie stuff, and then two different sets of gift tags. So it's really, really reasonable. And I just went for kind of like a gold. Let's turn the light down. Is that better at all? Okay, I've just turned the light down hopefully you're gonna be able to see better what the wrapping paper looks like because it was really, really shining and glowing on it. So it's just gold with little stars on, um, little snowflakes, a little pattern, and then some Christmas trees on. I love the different gift tags that you get in this pack as well. I just think for £6.50, it's very, very reasonable. And then also from Next, this was £3.50. I'm literally sat in darkness right now. I apologise. Um, and this one is so super cute. So it's got little snowflakes on and Christmas trees, and then it's got little bunnies um, and, well no, I think the hairs running around the trees. I've bought a couple of rolls of wrap from Paper Chase this year and I just went for some plain silver with white spots on because you can't go wrong. And then also this one which has moons on it and it's grey and then it's got gold stars um, going all the way around it. This might be the biggest wrapping paper fail haul video you ever did see in your life. I'm hoping not. And then the rest of my rolls are all from John Lewis. So obviously you can tell that there's no real um, theme going on this year. I've gone for this one, which is a navy blue with gold running through it and little white polka dots, which kind of look like snow. Um, very, very festive and a little bit different to what I'd usually go for. And then there's also this one, which is dark green and it's got deers on it, as well as all the different leaves and things printed in the gold foil. Um, and little bunnies as well and little mushrooms. This one is very, very sweet. I'm not showing you every single roll of wrapping paper that I've bought. I have gone a little bit wrapping paper mad this year, but we would be here all all day. Um, we, we possibly could have been here till next Christmas if I had showed you every single roll. Um, I also got this one from John Lewis. This is a little bit softer. It's got a little bit of copper going through it, the navy and the green, and just different kind of like leaf print. And then I've gone for shock horror, some with stars on. So these, this is just the navy paper with gold stars on it and I think this yeah this is from John Lewis as well um so that's the majority of my wrapping paper I've just got some gift tags and things to show you these are from paper chase and I just picked up some glittery stars and um, these are relative relatively cheap and they have three for two on there as well and I also got the matching moon um, gift tags to the gift wrap that I just showed you so it's just a big moon with lots of stars on it um, from also from Paper Chase, I bought some. I bought a couple of boxes of these. I think they were only a pound, and they are three gift bows, and they are just brown paper or brown card, if you will. And then they've got little bits of silver and um, kind of like dots on there, spots on there, and snowflakes, and um, which I thought were really pretty. Okay, so I've gone through everything I wanted to show you. I really hope you enjoyed that, um, and that it wasn't too rushed and haphazard. I 
only really want to put content up that I'm really pleased with but at the same time I really wanted you to see everything that we bought. We are going to be putting the tree up this Friday, uh, this Sunday even so um, everything that you've just seen, all the decorations will be up by then. Tomorrow's video is going to be an ASOS haul, Sunday's is going to be a makeup look and then Monday's is going to be a vlog of the day before which will be the day that we're putting all the decorations up so hopefully that'll be a nice festive vlog for you all. It feels like an age since I've picked up the vlogging camera. Thank you for sticking around. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.